we're going to get our Jeep, uh, well, take out Jeep, insert off-road rig, because this applies to anything that you're gonna be using for four-wheeling and mud bogging and whatever else. You don't want carpet in there because you're gonna be out in the mud and in the dirt and everything and getting in and out and you just don't wanna destroy your carpet. So our solution is gonna be, we're gonna use Herculiner bed liner on the whole inside of this thing. And the first thing we had to do is get everything out of it, which we did, it's all in a pile over here. What a mess. Anyway, now we need to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And the ideal way to do this would be to push it outside, degrease it, use the pressure washer to rinse it all out. We don't have that option because this don't have no tires on it because we're actually doing this right now because we're waiting on suspension parts. So what we're gonna do is just vacuum it really good and then we're gonna wipe the whole thing down with acetone. And if you're trying to save your paint, don't use acetone, but we're not. So. We're gonna get that done and then we will be back with the next step of in doing the Herculiner on the inside of this Jeep. Okay, we got it all cleaned up, got everything wiped down good, and now it's time to go on to our next step. So we don't wanna put our, our Herculiner bed liner or whatever over the top of all these little rust spots because that rust is just gonna continue and it'll end up lifting what we're putting down. So what we're gonna use is Classico Four Cheese Alfredo. <laughs> no. Now this is Eastwood Rust Converter. Uh, I just have it in this container because it's easier to spread out of here. And we're just gonna, you just brush it on there and let it dry and it'll actually turn the rust and make it like a, like a, like a black primer looking stuff. And sometimes it takes two coats. So we got all the loose stuff up. We're gonna go ahead and get this on there and let it cure. Our rust converters had overnight to dry. And as you can see, the, rust itself like the metal rust here that's converted that's all nice and black and the paint that's stained with rust around the edges that doesn't really convert so now what we need to do is we need to sand the whole thing scuff the paint and feather edge all those spots out to get rid of that loose paint that's around those rust spots hey so i'm just finishing up i got this all da'd or orbital whatever random orbit sanded with uh, 120, which is pretty rough, but we're putting bed liner on here, not paint. So I think that's gonna be, that'll give us a good tooth for the epoxy to bite into. Uh, it's got some spots where I wasn't really able to get with uh, the orbital sander. So I'm just going back with some red scotch bright and scuffing all these edges up. There's a few spots that I might have to address with some the rust converter once I sanded it, it loosened up some more rust. Um, I'm gonna finish touching everything up. We're gonna wipe it all down with acetone, which I don't recommend if you're trying to save the paint because there's a chance that it will take some of the paint off. I'm, I'm kinda just hoping that it's not gonna bubble the paint, but we'll see what happens. It should just soften it, which is okay with me. But after we get it all wiped down with acetone, the next step is to spray a coat of epoxy primer. We're using a two-part epoxy primer that I got from Summit, um, just because that was the cheapest one I could find shipped to me. So after we get the epoxy done, we'll come back and actually show you the process of installing the Herculiner bed liner. All right, our epoxy's dry and it actually took a little bit longer than we were expecting. I think it was just a little colder in the shop than I thought it was. It didn't feel that cold, but I was wearing a hoodie. So the paint wasn't, maybe that was the problem. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do our Herculiner. <clears throat> You put the lid back on this, if you've got any paint in that seam like I obviously did right there, it is tough to get the lid back off. So maybe uh, put some plastic in there or something, kind of like I do with the PR15 can. We're gonna use the roller, comes in the kit. Paint tray, just a cheap one, Lowe's Home Depot. And then you're not gonna be able to get the roller into all the way like back into these corners and stuff. So where we can't, we're gonna use just one of these cheap brushes and just dab it in the paint and then if you dab it you can match the texture of that roller pretty close so you can't really see the the difference where you could get with the roller where you couldn't so we're going to do from the top down from here forward and then just go up about 12 inches on the firewall we'll check in with you guys once we get done probably going to set up a time lapse uh if it turns out time lapse if not check in in just a minute when we're done
Well, our bed liner's done. It's not completely dry yet, but it's tacked up pretty good. You can touch it, it doesn't come off anymore. We ended up doing two coats, because the first coat, not that you could see through it, it just felt a little thin, and now it feels nice and thick. I think it'll last a long time. I mean, now, if we bury this thing in a mud hole somewhere and fill the inside of it with water, the last thing we need to worry about is how we're gonna clean the inside of the Jeep out, because we'll just be able to pressure wash it once we figure out all the other stuff that got destroyed in that endeavor. <laughs> but, it was really easy to do. Uh, we ended up using about a half a gallon. So if you're gonna do something similar size, two coats, used about a half a gallon. We only did one coat on all the stuff we did with the brush because it went on real thick with the brush. So I don't think it, it, I didn't need another coat, but yeah. I mean, comment below what you're gonna use this stuff on. I'm interested to see how many different uses we can find for this uh, Herculiner brush on bed liner. Anyway, see you soon.